The nunchucks have to be one of the most iconic symbols of the martial arts, perpetuated by our 10 year old minds and sheer badassery of this weapon. With one foot in ancient Okinawan history and another in contemporary storytelling, there are few things that make one feel as martial artsy as one does after a good chucking session. But as cool as they look, and as satisfying as it is when you perform that perfect pass off, we do have to look at the other side of the chain. In reality, nunchucks can be incredibly dangerous. I mean, they are a weapon. And when swung properly, they can generate a lot of kinetic energy and deliver bone-breaking strikes. And depending on where you live, they might also be illegal. So we're going to take a quick look at how they got so popular, the legality around them, and then take a look at a surprising example of how they are relevant in use today in modern society. Now the history and origin of the nunchucks are a bit fuzzy, with conflicting details on their origin and intended use. Many believe they were ancient farming tools as a rice flail, Others argue that it was originally a weapon, and then there are those other theories that say that the nunchucks stem from two pieces of wood connected by rope that were clanked together as a sort of warning system. Whatever the origin actually is, they found their way into Okinawan Kobudo and are one of the most signature weapons in the martial arts. The popularity in the West burst onto the scene with Bruce Lee and his incredible display, or once again in the 80s with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as the weapon of choice for Michelangelo. But perhaps the popularity was the cause of its own backlash. See, Bruce Lee, and I also assume Michelangelo, had substantial experience and training with the nunchucks. The 10 year olds who wanted to emulate their on-screen heroes, well, didn't. In the hands of a novice, it's not hard to imagine how many injuries occurred from untrained kids swinging around the set, or if you were like me that didn't actually own a set of nunchucks, finding anything that you could tie a string to and swing around. Many parents began taking exception with the romanticized portrayal of the nunchucks, and it wasn't long until the restrictions of the weapon began. Starting in the 70s and continuing up until today, some states and countries have laws in place that prohibit the ownership or use of the nunchucks. Canada, Germany, Chile, Poland, Russia, Spain, and Norway all have sets of laws banning or restricting the weapon. England, Wales, and Scotland have similar age-related restrictions on publicly owning the weapon, and in Hong Kong, it is illegal to possess the nunchucks unless you qualify for a permit as a martial arts instructor licensed through law enforcement. Even in the United States, California, Arizona, New York, and Massachusetts all, until recently, had laws banning or limiting the use of nunchucks. The laws in Arizona and New York were eventually overturned, with a case in New York arguing that banning nunchucks was against the Second Amendment and it prevented martial artists from being able to train with them. During the rebroadcast of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in the UK, they actually edited out footage of Michelangelo using the nunchucks, and later in the show, Mikey switched to a grappling hook. The live action movie of the 90s took a similar hit from parent complaints. Parents, and even a couple of cast members, felt that the first film showed too much violence with the weapons. As a result, there was a very noticeable tone down in the sequel of their usage, and in many cases, the weapons were substituted for non-lethal analogs. Combat cold cuts, anyone? Today, it's different from country to country, and if you aren't sure about your legal rights to use, own, or carry the nunchucks, then I encourage you to look up your local laws to see if they are banned or allowed under specific conditions or fully unrestricted. Should they be illegal? I don't know. I personally feel that they're no different than any other weapon found in the dojo. And honestly, it should really be more of a matter of teaching kids what's safe and what isn't. You can ban the nunchucks, but it doesn't take an engineer to tie a string around two sticks. I mean, I almost put my own eye out from a shaved down tree branch that I use as a bow. Then there's the argument that the nunchuck is just too impractical for today's use in self-defense. Perhaps. But then again, maybe not. Speaking of law enforcement and nunchucks, in recent years, the ancient weapon has found a new place in modern day usage, and perhaps unexpectedly, by police officers. In many police departments, mainly in California, the nunchucks are allowed for police use and have found their way into the arsenal of non-lethal weapons. Now, these nunchucks are sold and developed by retired police officer Kevin Orcutt, and they've been updated to fit the specific role. The Orcutt Police Nunchuck, or OPN for short, is intended as a possible replacement of the long baton. Sporting a lower profile and being easier to conceal, the OPN is primarily intended more as a grappling tool to bind wrists and ankles in order to apply non-lethal pain compliance to someone being put into custody. With stories of police brutality in recent years, Orcutt felt that this was a good option to officers in order to control suspects without having to resort to beating them. Now, of course, it is in the ideal situation that you can peacefully subdue someone. When push comes to shove, or if a suspect becomes violent or a threat to the officer, the nunchucks can still absolutely be used as a striking tool. So, what do you guys think? What is your opinion of the nunchucks? Where are the laws where you live? What is your favorite ancient martial arts weapon and how would you like to see them make a resurgence today? So let us know down in the comments what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this episode, please click the subscribe button or the like button. And we will see you next time. Same Matt time, same Matt channel.